Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, I am going to discuss the spinal nerves of frog. These spinal nerves of frog are usually of mixed nature or mixed type. Mixed type means sensory and motor both type of neurons are found. Then number in amphibians usually 10 pairs of spinal nerves are there but especially in the rana tigrina 10th nerve is usually absent but if present it joins sciatic plexus So usually Rana Tigrina is having 9 pairs of spinal nerves. As soon as the spinal nerves emerge out of the vertebral column. These are or their origin is surrounded by a mass of soft white calcareous glands which are known as glands of swammerdam. Now what is the function of glands of swammerdam? It is that these are reserve of calcium. We can observe the glands of swammerdam here. These are glands of swimmerdom so these are glands of swimmerdom on both sides when the spinal nerve emerges out of the vertebral column if we take the section of spinal cord then we can observe the spinal nerve with its roots and branches now in this section these are the roots this is dorsal root this one is ventral root this is spinal nerve and this one is dorsal branch this one is ventral branch and the intermediate branch is known as ramus communicans this is ramus communicans Dorsal branch is also known as ramus dorsalis and the ventral branch is also known as ramus ventralis. This is the neuroseal or central canal which is filled with CSF. Now some points about these branches. This ramus dorsalis is shorter branch in comparison to the ramus ventralis and supplies the muscles of dorsal side of tongue
and skin over it. The ramus communicans is very short fine branch. And it joins the sympathetic cord of its own side. It joins sympathetic cord of its own side. Sympathetic cord. Then the ventral branch or ramus ventralis. It is the larger. and thicker branch an important thing is that it supplies skin and muscles of ventral and lateral side of trunk so it is supplying a larger area that's why it is larger in size or thickness now the spinal nerves first pair of spinal spinal nerve pair of spinal nerve first then second and third, then fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and finally the tenth one. So, first of all, the pair of first spinal nerve, and this first pair of spinal nerve is sometimes also termed as hypoglossal nerve and this nerve supplies muscles of tongue floor of buccal cavity and some muscles of shoulder and back in addition it also participates in the brachial plexus so it forms brachial plexus with second and third pair of spinal nerves brachium means arm so it is forming the brachial plexus and brachial plexus supplies to skin and muscles of four limbs of frog then fourth fifth and sixth pair of spinal nerves these supply skin and muscles of body wall of belly region then 7 8 and 9 these spinal nerves form sciatic plexus and by this plexus these supply to skin and muscles of abdomen and hind limbs while it also gives branches to the large intestine genital ducts and urinary bladder 
while the tenth one if present it is also known as coccygeal nerve and it usually if present joins the sciatic plexus it also gives the branches to urinary bladder and cloaca supplies urinary bladder and cloaca now there is a term that is corda equina corda means tail equina means equus that is horse it means a structure which appears to be like tail of horse now what is this roots of 7th to 10th spinal nerves first run inside the neural canal or vertebral canal of vertebral column for some time and form a horse tail like structure which is termed as corda equina so this will give appearance like this this is the spinal cord and the terminal spinal nerves will move like this so this will form corda equina so this is all about the spinal nerves of frog thanks for watching this video